All right. Um, I want to welcome you guys to uh, the training on how to set up your website. My name is Janet Wolf. Um, I have been an agent for almost a year to be a year at the end of this month. Um, I'm a team builder, team builder as well. Uh, the stuff that I'm going to go through today, a lot of it is um, when you get your hosting website, uh, your, your hosting service, a lot of the services or things I'm going to go over are kind of included in that, but I just want to review it all and, and, and uh, make sure that you understand it all. So um, let me go ahead and share my screen. All right, can you guys see that? Although I'm at the- Yes, I, yes. Okay. In the beginning. Okay, so setting up your website. So what we're going to go over and cover today is how to um, obtain a domain, your website hosting, user interface, optimizing your website, fresh content, your webmaster tools, which are really important, maintenance, and then some final tips. Uh, what I'll do after I finish each slide, I'll pause for a few seconds if you guys want to just take a screenshot of it if you're not taking notes. Um, I kind of find that easier, whatever you guys want to do. So first we'll go over obtaining a domain. You want to make it something that's easy to spell. Um, obviously, you don't want to make it too complicated because if you're out and about and meet people, you want to just be able to um, give them something that's kind of easy to remember, uh, like travel with Janet or, or some, something simple like that. I'm sure you guys, um, uh, you probably have already thought of names or have a name in mind. Um, but this just it kind of um, just makes it easy if it's easy to spell for, for your clients. Also, um, this is supposed to be short, not shot. <laughs> you want to keep it as short as possible. Uh, again, like travel with Janet is good. Um, instead of having travel around the world with me or whatever it might be, uh, just kind of keep it as short as possible, again, so that people can easily remember it. Make sure that you also have the proper domain on it, whether it's .com, .net, .co, uh, whatever is related to, um, to your business. Um, so you wanna keep that in mind. Again, these are just simple things. Um, avoiding any numbers or hyphens in your name as well um, makes it easier for clients to remember it. And then also something memorable, something that is catchy that clients will remember for the future. We also want to research the name to make sure that it doesn't already exist. Um, if it does, sometimes you might have to kind of negotiate with the owner of the website and see if it's something that you can kind of purchase off of them. Um, but for the majority, um, most of the times it's, it's really simple to kind of just search up your name and see if it's um, something that's already in existence or something that you can use. Also check the prices for your domain. This will depend upon what website you use as your host. Um, the prices vary, but uh, you can usually find a pretty a pretty decent price for um, a year's subscription. You also want to avoid non non essential names. Choose something that conveys meaning to what you're trying to sell, and um, you also want to create an SEO to make it a friendly URL website. I'll go over what an SEO is in, uh, in the upcoming slides. But keywords and something that might help somebody find you, like, for instance, the Las Vegas electrician.com. Obviously, he's an electrician in Las Vegas. Pretty simple. Next, I'm getting rid of pictures. Uh, next, purchasing your website. So for this, you want to make sure that you're choosing a really good hosting website, um, one that has really good tech support. I personally use GoDaddy for my website. I love it. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what my website looks like at the end. But pretty much everything I'm going over, GoDaddy takes care of everything. So I don't have to think about um, any of the security or anything like that. It's already kind of embedded in, in the prescription plan, that, um, the subscription plan that I got with them. But you have GoDaddy, you have DreamHost, Bluehost, InMotion, SiteGround. Those are just some other hosting websites that you can use uh, to host your, your URL website. 
when you are looking at host agencies, you want to make sure that you are avoiding shared server or hosting plans, um, mainly because if you if they have all of their customers using the same server, it um, it can cause lag time for when people are at your um, going through your website, and you don't want to have lag time or uh, slowness when they're operating or switching between pages. Um, they may be cheaper to do, but they're honestly not worth the lower cost. You also want to look into um, a, v a VPS, which is a virtual private server. That's kind of the way that you want to go. Make sure that your hosting company has a legit phone number, uh, somebody that, that you can actually pick up the phone and call if you have an issue or um, a support chat that you can reach out to for help. Check into their server security. Uh, make sure that they have daily backups. Uh, there's an easy method of installing the secure socket layers, um, the certificates for that, and make sure that they perform regular security maintenance on their websites as well. Now, for the description of your business, this is something that you want to... Can you go back to the last slide so I can get a picture? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I'm sorry. I almost got it. Hang on. <laughs> sorry. Forgot to pause. Right. Good. Good. All right. So for the description of your business, um, this is something that you're going to put on your website itself. So you want to obviously let people know who you are and what you do. You don't want you don't want them to arrive at your site and be confused um, about what it is that you're selling. Now with with travel agents. Um, a lot of us choose certain niches that we go into, whether you focus on the Caribbean or you focus on cruises or you focus on Disney, make that uh, abundantly clear to your clients when they arrive to your website, what, what it is that you kind of focus on. And most importantly, include a picture of yourself. They want to know who they are working with. Um, so in, in your about section of your, um, your website, include a picture of yourself and, and how you got into travel and then kind of I'll show you what again what mine looks like, but give it a little bit of background about you so that they kind of can get to know you um, a little bit. Next, you want to make it interesting, memorable, and engaging for your user interface. You want to make sure that you're leaving a positive impression on your clients that come to your website. You want to make sure that you have really nice looking graphics that are easy, um, easy to see and then the fonts that are easy to read as well. Uh, just a little tip, make sure that your graphics are compressed and optimized because if they're not loading faster, it can affect your ranking on Google. <clears throat> Again, um, I like I said, I use Go, GoDaddy and they take care of all of that. You want to research your competition and see what they're doing with their websites as well. Research your market. If you are focusing on people who are just traveling to the Caribbean, find out and see what it is that they're looking for when they visit a certain travel agent website. You want to stay consistent on your branding throughout your website design. You want to design an intuitive navigation system so that your users are able to navigate quickly and fluently throughout each page and get to the page that they want to quickly. Definitely make sure that you've got contact info on there and that it's easy to find for them. This I love, incorporate calls to action. Uh, you can create your website to have buttons that have a book with me or get your quote on it. Uh, you can have those links go to um, your intake forms so that people can fill out the forms and send it back to you when they're interested in booking a trip. I personally love putting the reserve your vacation planning session button on my webpage. And the reason for this is when you do a book with me or get your quote, it kind of sells some. It kind of sounds um, salesy, but if you do something like uh, reserve your vacation planning session, um, it, it kind of gets you excited. And what I actually did with this is I it, it's a button on my page, but I have it going to a Calendly link. And what they do is they schedule a 15 to 20 minute time with me where I will get them on the phone 
and I will go through the intake form with them. So I'm physically talking to them on the phone and they get to know me and hear my voice and know that I'm a real person behind the website. Um, so I start building that relationship with my client right away, rather than just sending them a form and having them fill it out, I get them on the phone. And I have a link for this that shows up on every page on my website. Now, some standard pages to consider. Obviously, you want to have your home page. You want to have an about us or an about me. List what your products and services are. Um, so not only do we just do travel, but we do car rentals and we do concerts and uh, theme park tickets, things like that. You want to make sure that you're including those services on your page and if possible, have, um, have links to them. So I, I have a resources link on my page that has um, a link to all of my external sites, like my Viator um, uh, website, so that people can go and book uh, excursions and stuff like that. Um, I have a link so that people can go and get sports tickets or concert tickets or whatever they want. It just it's just an added um, an added basis in there for them to kind of use. And then I have a photo gallery of some photos that clients have taken on vacations or I just kind of threw some in there too <laughs> to make it look pretty. All right, I'll go on to the next next screen. So optimizing your website for search engines. This is the SEO I was, I was telling you about earlier. Um, it essentially is just a set of practices that you apply to your website to ensure that the search engines index can rank your website appropriately. Um, and the, it includes a bunch of different things. So it's keyword searches, your website code, which you won't have to worry about if you go through a hosting website because they do it all. Um, the loading speed, having the SSL certificates installed, which again, if I go, I go through GoDaddy and they have all that on there. Making sure it's mobile friendly. Um, having the existence of high quality backlines, like I said, links to other websites. So having the links to your other resources like the Viator and the, uh, the concert tickets and all that. Positive reviews online, um, using internal links to keep people clicking. So making sure that they can switch back and forth between pages. Um, social media links, make sure you have those on your website as well to your Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, whatever other um, social media websites you use. Um, the SEO is extremely important and it's an ongoing process. Um, it can really honestly be the difference between you showing up on the first page of a Google search or page 300. So um, it really shows how, how important the SEOs are important to your website. Fresh content. So you want to make sure that you're you're obviously uh, periodically updating your website where it needs to be updated. If you change your um, email address, if you change your phone number, uh, things like that so they can constantly get in touch with you. Um, if, you're, if you change where you take your intake form from Google to uh, another platform, make sure that you're changing the link in there. Um, if you decide in the future that you want to send newsletters out to your clients, you can put updated links on your website to your newsletters so that they have um, people who have never heard of you and they're not on your newsletter uh, email chain that they can see what your news newsletters look like. And the same with blogs. If you're going to do travel blogs, make sure that the links are updated <clears throat> on your website as well. So the webmaster tools, this is, this is awesome. So this you can use um, the vital data from your to analyze the traffic to your website, and it can really help you understand um, where you might need to make tweaks in your website uh, and how your clients view your website as well. So these are just some things that you can use uh, to help analyze your data: the Google Analytics, uh, the Google Search Console. Um, that's supposed to be in Bling Webmaster Tools. Again, um, a lot of the hosting websites out there might already have all these tools built in in the background so that you can just go through, like say GoDaddy to, to view all the, um, the tools for this. But things that, the information that you can use from them is uh, getting a daily, weekly, monthly visitor count to your website, seeing how many people are checking you out, getting the number of views for each page, um, the bounce rate, how many people go to your pay, go to your website and then leave after just one click. 
um, because maybe they're not finding the information that they that they need. So you got to you know to make adjustments there. Um, the average time that's spent by viewers on each page or on your website altogether. If there's any broken links that you might have on your website, certain keywords that led them to your site. Um, and then if your website ever goes down, um, it'll help you there. Oh, sorry, you probably wanted to take a picture of that. Go back. I got it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, for the website maintenance plan. Now, having a website is not just a one and done deal. You, it, It's not something you can just create and leave it. You want to make sure that you're constantly updating it. Um, again, use the webmaster tools and check them at least once a month and correct any errors um, that might get sent to you telling you that you, like I said, have broken links or things like that. Um, making sure that you're making the adjustments to kind of build up your, um, your rating on, on Google for that. Use the traffic data to analyze your audience. Um, fix any errors that get sent to you. You don't want to have your website down. Uh, finding what's on trend and find effective ways to market your business. Um, that's actually another training that I've done too, is marketing your business. And I know that Jody just did one uh, last week on marketing, which is awesome. So uh, if you haven't seen that, you need to go back and check that out. Also see if there's a way for you to allow feedback from your visitors, uh, how they can contact you and, and you know, give you feedback on your, on your website. It's always good to hear from the people that are actually using it. So some final tips. Uh, did you get a picture of that? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> there you go. I try to guess when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Perfect. All right. So final tip. You want to make sure that your website is mobile responsive. And I'll show you what that means too. Um, again, you want to make it easy to find. You want to make sure you have your contact info visible and on every page or at the top of the page if you can. Make it easy to navigate. Keep your pages uncluttered. Make sure that your information is accurate and up to date. Respect the need for speed. Again, you know, people don't want to sit there and wait for your page to load, so make sure it's got accurate speed loading on there. Have a call to action. Make sure you have that book with me or get in touch with me or, you know, book your, your vacation planning session. So make sure that that's there. Keep your design simple. Make it personal so that they get to know you. Make sure your website is customer friendly. And lastly, incorporate the SEO's best practices. <clears throat> So that is everything there. And now let me show you a review of my site. Okay. So again, I'm in GoDaddy. That is the website builder that I use. I know people do other um, use other things. When you go in here, this is um, this is what I, I could click anywhere and start editing my page right away. So up here at the very top of my page, I have click here to reserve your vacation planning session. That bar stays at the top of every page. We can't so, see the page. Oh, you can't? No, we're, I'm, I'm just seeing the slideshow still. Oh, OK. Hmm. Right, let me go in here and close the slideshow. Sorry. Okay, let me do that. Let me go. Thank you for letting me know. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now can you see it? Yep. Yep. Okay, perfect. All right. So th like I said, this is in GoDaddy. So right here is where I have a link that um, it, it shows up on every page. And if I click on it, if you look down the bottom down here, it'll, it'll show up right here, but it um, it shows you where it's going to. So it's gonna take them to my Calendly link where they can plan or set up a time for me to, to go through their vacation with them. So this is what my homepage looks like. 
again, I have all the different um, different pages up here that they can reach or just click on at any time. Again, I have the, the call to action here. And then I just provide some information on why using a, um, a travel agent might benefit them. And then I have my social media platforms, which again shows up on the bottom of every page. And then I have the links down here to all the pages as well. So I'll click on the wine agent. And again, it just kind of gives some information on why using an agent would work, like best suit them. And you can just go, a lot of this is um, very, very simple to use and build, if that makes sense. Then I have my um, about page. So I, I'm telling what I specialize in, a picture of me, a little bit of information about me, and then some more information down here. And I just added these graphics in to kind of show, um, you know, I'm a Hawaiian specialist, sandal specialist, uh, what I'm associated with, that type of thing. My gallery, I just threw in, honestly, a bunch of pictures from my clients, as well as some stock pictures <laughs> to kind of get people excited about going on a vacation. I tried to incorporate the different things that we do, um, the certain different services that we provide and things like that. my contact information along with the hours. And I have here, if they wanna drop a line or give feedback, that's there as well. Just some FAQs. I could add more in here if I wanted to. Um, this also is a link to the uh, CDC website. So this is gonna continuously have um, the most updated information, something I don't have to maintain. And that's another thing too, if there's anything on your website that you can have automated or get updated for you, go ahead and do it. The less you have to do, the better. I have a little bit about services. I talk about the different things that we provide. And then I also have down here, um, how we do rental cars, concert tickets, boarding events, things like that, so that they kind of have an idea of other things that we do, not just travel related, but. Now for my resources, this is where I have my, my links to get to my different things. So if they want to book excursions, I have my um, Viator link here. I have my golden tickets link. Obviously you can see beaches, sandals. I have a link for travel insurance. If they prefer to book their own travel, I have this link for my, um, my evolution travel, my Archer travel agent website so that they can go there and book travel through there. If they wanted information on for, on booking a cruise, I got that here as well. And then I also put information if they're ever interested in becoming an agent, and that gets sent to me. And then testimonials that I have from clients, I put those in, in here as well. Um, another thing I have found too, and I... I mentioned this in another training that I did, but um, another thing to do is when you, I know that you've probably already created your travel email, which is perfectly fine. Um, I'll answer the question in a second, McKenna. Um, a lot of customers, when they're looking at your email, if you have something like, obviously my, um, my business name is Lifetime Excursion Travel. So if I have my email be Janet at LifetimeExcursionTravel.com, it looks a little bit more professional than Lifetime Excursion at Gmail. You know, rather than having a Gmail um, email, you can create another one that has your Janet at Lifetime Excursion. A great way to do that, because I just did that. I have my Gmail email 
um, but I just created my Janet at lifetimeexcursiontravel.com and I'm using that on, um, on my marketing material. You can go into Google Suite, which I think used to be Google Workspace. Um, if you look up Google Suite, you can actually create your email in there. It's a separate Gmail account or whatever, but you can go into your old email and forward all of the stuff that comes into this new Janet at LifetimeExcursionTravel.com. If that is really confusing, I apologize. Um, just trying to kind of make it look more professional to the, uh, to the user, your clients. Um, how long would you say it took you to design your website? Um, when I initially went in and did it, um, it took me about a week just because I didn't, I didn't spend an entire week going in there. Um, but about a week to kind of get stuff up. I was more, when I first, first did it, I was really just looking to kind of get something up. Um, but then I went back in a couple of weeks ago, I think. And over the course of two days, I think it took me to update it and revamp it and make it look the way it looks now. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's really nice with all of these hosting websites and things like that, that it's so simple to kind of create your own website. And I have a degree in web design. Um, so it was, it was just, it was super simple to, to do. Um, and you can tweak it and change it and stuff like that. So that's it. any other questions. Was that helpful? <laughs> No, oh, your information is very helpful. Very helpful. Okay. Thank you. I always wonder if these things help people. <laughs> yes, they do. They do. Excellent. All right. I'm going to stop this then.